Hi everyone! Welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel where we do sewing projects and subscription boxes. I am B. Whether you are new or old to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. It is wonderful to have you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I upload every Wednesday. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, especially if you are a new subscriber. I would love to hear from you. And give the video a thumbs up. All right, cutting straight into it. It is the Sewers Club subscription box for July. Yay! I have been so busy. I have had this, I think two days now and I haven't been able to open it and, and film it for you guys. So today that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am very excited, you know I love these boxes so much. So let's cut into it and see what we got. Now this is for July, so maybe some summer, maybe some, let's see what we got. Look at that. Okay. All right. So when I open the box, this is what you see inside. And it looks like, let's see, a raw edge patchwork purse. Finishes approximately 10 inches by 16 inches. Okay, this is definitely something I have never done before. Okay. Hmm. That's really cool. Let's, let's, what that is. All right, let's see. All right, and then of course, um, just like before, this box is um, $31.99 monthly. Uh, you can add an additional um, sewing notion add-on for I think it was like $9 a month extra. Um, you can do this monthly, you can do this every three months, you can do this, uh, pay for it yearly, whichever you choose. But uh, this looks like this looks like it's gonna be uh, a challenge for me. Let's see. All right, let's see. Of course, we've got our uh, Gooderman thread. There's that, and this is. in the color butterfly. Huh. Okay. All right. So there's that. And then we've got a um they're called I think they're called charm packs. Hold on. Yep, it's a charm pack. So this is um, the the charm pack. There's 42 charms in here. So they're little squares with um, like finished edges, like pinking sheer finished edges, kind of. All right, let me. Assembled in the USA. All right, let's see what we got. Hold on. I'll crack it open. All right, so we've got. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, okay, so this is the first set of charm pieces. So it's a beautiful green with some, some flowers on it. And then you've got just this solid green that has like, it's almost like 
um, like a wicker basket almost kind of pattern to it. And then there's this lighter green one. Now this is going to allow us to really play around with the patterns and everything. So that's really cool. Um, these charms are by Maywood Studios. Hmm. Okay. And then you've got this like beige one that's got little flowers on it. Well, there is so many possibilities. Thankfully, I do not have to cut <laughs> each of these out, which I'm very happy about. You know me and measuring and cutting are it's my least favorite part of the project. But here's another one. Um, it's got the white background instead of the green. A um, little bit different. And then there's... This is so, so cute. I like this one. Okay. And then these little red um, flowers with the white background. And then you've got a little stripe one here. And then you've got the same like wicker basket pattern, but it's in like a beige color. Oh, okay. And they're, they kind of just repeat. So you've got this one instead of the green background, it's the beige one. And then instead of the white background, you've got the beige. So it just, it alternates through the colors. That's really cute. So here's that one. Here's a darker, this is like kind of a tan. And then another striped one. Ooh, now we're getting into like the reds. And I love red. So we got that one. That's going to be, I'm going to have to sit down and look at all of these and think of what I'm going to do. That's like, look at that. And then you've got the wicker design, but in red. I like that color. That's a very pretty, it's like a wine red almost. And then you've got that one instead of like that tan. And we're at the end. Okay, and then you've got those. Wow, those are so pretty. Okay. Those are very, very pretty. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight different um, charm packs. So not everybody's going to have this fabric. There's eight different ones to choose from. But these are very pretty. I like those. And then I've got the longer piece. This is for the handle. So this is going to be the handle and here I am trying to fold everything back <laughs> I do it every time okay and then it looks like oh and then we've got batting 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 right yeah batting nice um, it's so on batting. This isn't fusible. So um, this is going to add the bulk, not the bulk, but the, like, the stability. Um, so then it's just the normal. All right. Look at that. All right. So this is going to be something new for me. Completely new. I've never done anything like this. But this is one of the reasons I like this box so much because... There's stuff in here that I haven't done before. I mean, I've never raw edges. Like, I've never thought of, of doing it that way. So that's very interesting. So, all right, let's... Uh, all right. And then there's nothing else. That's it for the box. All right, well, without any further ado, Let's go get started. Okay, I have to hold this part by hand because 
it doesn't all fit in the frame if I stabilize it, so I apologize if this is shaky, but all right, so for this project, you're going to need a little bit of materials, so you're going to need your um, pattern pieces laid out the way you want them. So you have to remember you have to do the lining and the exterior. And then of course you're going to need your strap and then you're going to need your thread, a marking tool that will wash away on the fabric because you will be marking the right side of the fabric. It is always a good idea to have a seam ripper. You're going to need a ruler and you're going to need um, scissors and of course your sewing machine and everything like that. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we are going to take each one of the blocks. There's 17 total and you're going to have two sides. You're going to take it and you can either eyeball it or use a ruler. But you're going to mark an X on the right side of the fabric for the outer part of the bag. If you don't want to make an X, you don't have to. You just have to sew an X uh, with the sewing machine. So if you're really good with that, then by all means, go ahead and do it that way. Um, I did a few of mine that way and it came out just fine. But you're going to make an X because that's what the instructions say. And then you're going to take your lining piece wrong side up. You're going to take your batter, batting piece center that as best you can. If it's not perfect, it's okay. And then you're going to take the piece of outer fabric that you just made the X on with right side up and you're going to lay that right on top just like that. And what I did is I took a pin and just pinned it right here so that the batting doesn't move. And then you take it over to the sewing machine and you sew back stitching at the beginning and the end just be careful and then you're going to sew all the way across point to point and point to point you're going to do that to every single panel okay if you want when you're done you can go ahead and press it to set the seam but you don't have to so i'm going to finish this one up when you're done with all of them they should all look like this okay so I'm going to go do that and I will be right back so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be piecing the squares together into rows and then connecting the rows okay there is a diagram in directions for you to help you out with this now biggest thing is when you are connecting them together you're going to connect them so that the lining pieces are touching okay so you're going to take it so lining pieces are touching so you should have the outer fabric piece facing up and then the other panels outer fabric piece facing the table okay and then you can clip or pin and you're just going to start attaching them. Okay. And then once you're done doing that, you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and you're going to backstitch at the beginning and at the end and you're going to do a half of an inch seam allowance. Yep. Half of an inch seam allowance back stitching at the beginning and at the end so that when you look at the outer piece of fabric, you're going to have your seam and the raw edges on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to go finish assembling each um, block and then go to the sewing machine and do that and then I'll be right back. Now that you've sewn the two panel 
pieces together going across. Now you're going to connect, going to connect them to make the strips. And then in the same fashion, so the inside pieces are facing, and then you're gonna go back over to the sewing machine with a half of an inch seam allowance right across, back stitch at the beginning and at the end on the three pieces that you're connecting to make the longer strips with. I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Once that's done, we're now going to fit the panels together. So we make one long piece of quilted fabric. So what you're going to do is you're going to take them and you're going to nest the seams together. So basically one seam's going one way, the other's going the other, and you're gonna line up the raw edges, okay? I would nest the seams first. That would probably be the easiest for you. Now on the diagram, you're going to see some circles. Now these are very important. You're going to want to make sure you follow this closely. It's going to make your life a lot easier when we're folding it in half to create the bag. So where the diagram says, on the raw edge, once you're together, like so, you're going to leave a half of an inch where you are not going to sew. You can mark it with a marking tool, you can mark it with a clip, you can mark it with a pin, whichever is easier for you. So, this is the first one. So half of an inch you will not sew. So you're gonna start right where the pin is, back stitch really well, come across and finish where the other one ends, back stitch to finish, okay? And then the next panel, I gotta look at my diagram, hold on. So the next row is going to be your five piece row. Sure you've got it facing the way you wanted it in your design. I took a picture of it. All right. So it's going to end up like that. So we're going to take it. We're going to nest all of the seams first. So remember when you nest, one goes one way, one goes the other. I would do it the same way you did it up here, just to make things a little bit easier for you. But you want to make sure they're nested because you want them to match on the inside and the outside. So there's that one. There's this one. very hard to see. Sorry. Make sure you are using the correct seam allowance for this. Now you can do these, you know, row by row. You can do them like I'm doing them and just all at once. Um, whatever is easier for you. This probably isn't going to be easy for me, but we'll find out. Okay. 
and then this one right here is another one that you are going to leave the half an inch for. And you can usually tell where the half of an inch is because that's where your first seam was. So you got your seam right here, that's the half of an inch seam allowance, so you can kind of gauge it that way too. And then you're gonna line up the next row which is your four panel row. Make sure I'm lining everything up correctly. And then on this one, this one right here is going to be your half of an inch. So we're gonna line this one up. Actually, I'm gonna do this one first. This one you're good. Make sure you are lining up the raw edges. You want it all to be even. This is where a lot of clips or pins is going to come in handy for you. All right, and now you line up the last one. So the last one's going to go here. And then this point right here is where you're going to leave that half of an inch opening. So I'm going to align this one. All right, now you're going to take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to connect each row to each other with the half of an inch seam allowance. Just make sure that when you are sewing, you pay attention to the sides that you have to leave the half of an inch for. I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Next, we're going to attach the sides and we're done. Almost. <laughs> you're going to put the handle on, of course. But, all right, so this is... What you're looking at um, for the outside, now we're going to flip this to the inside. Isn't that a pretty inside? Look at that. That's super pretty. So what we're going to do is 
we're going to take Follow the diagram, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of diagram. Um, this is a hard one to kind of walk you guys through because I can't give like too much information away. Does that make sense? So I'm actually gonna do this a little bit differently than what it says. Hold on. So it's, I'm going to take these two sides and pin them together. You're going to nest them in just like you did before. Oop. And you're going to do the same thing to this side. take these two together some I'm sure are going to be more irritating than others Same thing to the other side.
trying to see if there was an easier way to do this, but I don't think so. This one's giving me a, a hard time right here. Come on. So there's kind of the shape of your bag there. And then we're just going to finish by lining up. Pinch those corners and then slide it on. That'll work much better. There's not a lot of bulk there when you do it that way. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine. Look at that, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch all along. So we're gonna start here we're going to top stitch, back stitch at the beginning and the end. You're going to come all the way across. You're going to use a half of an inch seam allowance. Come all the way across, follow it. Do it here. So basically, let's try to simplify that a little bit. You're going to take this over to the sewing machine. You're going to top stitch from this point to this point. So do this half of an inch seam allowance. You're gonna do that to all of your peaks right here. And then you're gonna take it and with a half of an inch seam allowance like we've been doing, we're just gonna sew all the way across. And then you're gonna sew this one right here on both sides. Okay, make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the end. And then I'm going to put the handles on or make the handles and put them on. So let me go to the sewing machine and do that and I will be right back. Once your bag is all sewn together, now you're gonna take your two straps and you're going to take the long sides and fold it so the long sides are meeting with the right sides together. So once you're done folding it, you should see the wrong side of the fabric. And then you're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, you're gonna sew right along that long side. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end for both straps. Once you're done, flip them right side out, press them, and then top stitch at an eighth of an inch seam allowance right along the long side that you just sewed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do that and I will be right back. Once you have pressed your straps, you can place them according to the directions with the measurements in place. And then take it over to the sewing machine and sew a box with a um, cross in the middle so you stabilize your handles to the bag. And then you are done. Another sewers club box finished 
and it's actually not too bad. I was kind of weird, weirded out by like the raw edges, but they also stay in the directions when you're done sewing your um, handles into place. You can um, take scissors and every quarter of an inch clip into all of the raw edges toss this into the washing machine and then tumble dry when you're done and then it'll give you a nice fray effect on it um, so it'll be kind of poofy i guess you could say all right so voila another one done i hope you guys enjoyed this until next time see ya